Solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable, the variables on both sides, and two distributions. Solve for x. So I always go through three steps when I'm solving equations. The first one is to clear any fractions. Well, I don't have any fractions in this one, so I can move along to step two. Simplify each side of the equals separately. So I'm going to look at the right and left sides of my equation individually and simplify if I can. Which means if I have parentheses, I'm going to use the distributive property to get rid of those parentheses. And then I'm going to try to combine like terms. So over here, I have a set of parentheses, which means I'm going to have to distribute to get rid of these parentheses. So if I distribute here, negative 3 times positive 6x is negative 18x. And negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9. Then I have this plus 8x term. Now let's look at the other side. Well, before we move on, sorry, let's combine like terms if we can. We distributed, let's stay here on the left side and combine like terms if we can. So I have negative 18x plus 8x, they're both x terms, so I can combine those two together. Um, negative 18 plus 8 is negative 10x, and then I have my constant term, the 9. Now let's go to the other side. Same thing. Distribute to get rid of any parentheses and then combine like terms if you can. So I need to distribute on this side to get rid of those parentheses. So I have a 2 plus, now 4 times 2x is 8x and 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So I distributed, now I'm going to combine like terms. Well, I don't have any other x terms over on this side, but I do have two constant terms with no variables that I can combine together. So 2 minus 8 is negative 6, and then I have the plus 8x. So I did step 2. Moving on to step 3, isolate the variable. Or I need to get the variable, the x, by itself. The problem is right now I have x's on both sides of my equation. So before I can do anything, I need to zero one of those out so that I only have x's on one side. I like to keep my x's on the left uh, so that when I'm done, my answer is x equals something and the x is on the left. So I'm going to choose to zero out this term on the right, this x term. Well, right now it's plus 8x. The opposite would be to subtract 8x but I need to do it to both sides to keep my equation balanced. Those two are going to zero out, and on the right, I just have a minus 6 left. On the left, if I have negative 10x minus 8 more x's, that's negative 18x plus 9. Now I only have x's on one side, so I'm making progress, moving right along. Now I need to start getting that x by itself. Well, before I do anything with the coefficient, the number attached directly to the x, I want to get rid of any other terms that are over here on the left side. So I want to zero out this plus 9. The inverse would be subtract 9. And then I need to do it to both sides to keep my equation balanced. That zeroes out. And I'm left, left with negative 18x equals negative 6 minus 9 is negative 15. Now, very last, I want to undo or detach this number that's stuck directly to the x, the coefficient. And there's implied or hidden multiplication right there. To undo a times by negative 18, I need to divide by negative 18 and they'll cancel out. But I need to also do it to the other side to keep my equation balanced. So I'm left with x equals a negative divided by a negative, if I simplify this fraction, is a positive, and then I just need to reduce it. Well, 3 goes into both of these, into 15 5 times, into 18 6 times, so my final answer is going to be x equals 5 6.